Hello, friends. Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to day three of our 30 day challenge. Wisdom to grow. We have decided when I say we, I mean you and I, because this is a, it's a collaboration. I'm not doing it alone. I'm here to empower, I'm here to encourage, and I want you to participate. All right, so 30 days in June, challenging our status quo, finding out better ways to lead and to be better team players. So leaders and team players. How, how do we lead in families, in you know, even in social life or in businesses, leadership all round. Today's topic is on the sole proprietor, the sole proprietor. Today, we want to look at that person who wears the many hats. The sole proprietor is the one with the many hats. Everything is left to him. He has to make all the decisions. It is all the decisions. It is his business and he needs to step up. All right. The, the sole proprietor must be a firm decision maker. It's your business and you want it to succeed. So you have to think hard and make very concrete, firm decisions. You have to be that example that others can easily follow. You don't want a complicated uh, um situation in 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 a small business like that you, so you need to plan it you need to you need to know exactly what you want and lead by example so that others can follow smoothly okay number three you need to know your strengths and weaknesses of course you have to know your strengths and your weaknesses which will help you grow your business naturally and then in order to, to complement those areas of your weaknesses, you need to intentionally go about looking for somebody who, whose strength is your weakness, okay? He, he, your, he is strong in the areas of your weaknesses, okay? So you employ him and still you train him because he has to, to work according to your business values, all right? You train him to manage those areas or that area of your business where you are not that strong at, okay? Depending on what you are doing. These are just tips, okay? And the example I want to, to use to portray this today is... Um, the story of Pharaoh and Joseph in Egypt. There was going to be a very terrible famine. Pharaoh um, had the dream, uh, but he did not know what it meant. And then when he spoke to Joseph, Joseph told him the meaning of the dream and gave him the strategies to go about it. And Pharaoh is like, well, there's nobody better than you to do the job. Okay, so you rule, you take over. I'm Pharaoh, I'm still king, but you will manage the rest of the country. So Joseph took Egypt through a very difficult famine that could have been disastrous. And it's because Pharaoh recognized Joseph's strengths. He did not have that business acumen, but he recognized it in Joseph. There was no clash in leadership. There was no clash in, in, in decision-making. There was no clash in rulership. Everybody, you know, Pharaoh knew his position. He was king. He was still wearing the crown, but he knew what to allow Joseph to do. And Joseph also recognized jo uh, Pharaoh's position. So that is the point. You know who you are. You know where you stand and you bring your best. You show up with your best at all times. You know as a sole proprietor that you own the business. 
So you've got to be confident in your decisions so that nobody can threaten your authority. And when I say authority, I'm not be I'm not saying be, you know, be a bully. I'm saying you need to be confident and a, a leadership at the end of the day is service. Leadership is service and you have to serve in love. When if you want to serve well, serve in love and serve with integrity and serve with kindness. These are the things that people don't want to hear about, but this is the truth, is the truth. Your business will succeed when the atmosphere in your business is conducive. People come in, they are happy to come to work. They are helping you grow your business. So you lead them correctly. You lead them with love, with compassion, with, with kindness, with integrity. And people will follow such a leader. All right. I will not keep us long. These sessions are supposed to be yeah, short and crispy and juicy and to the point. All right. I expect to see your comments and, and tips as well. So share those tips, share this, you know, share this video and let us grow together. All right. All right. Love you. See you and God bless you. See you tomorrow. It's a 30 day challenge for us. I'm just stepping in to, to lead, okay, to start it. So be proactive and drop your own tips and comments as well. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.